Greetings, travelers. It's me, resident scholar masochist, and now dejected degenerate weeaboo. Every job I touch turns to dust. In today's class, we are going to examine the green role type in Final Fantasy XIV, a topic that I'm sure people think I've talked about before, but you would be wrong. On paper, being a healer in an MMORPG means that you have to heal people and keep them alive. Yes, this is true. But what do you do with your time when you don't need to heal anything? Yes, you do damage. This is it. You now know how to play a healer in any MMORPG. I've educated you. I no longer need to make any guides. Obviously, healing is not technically this simple. The problem with games like these is that you need players to fulfill all role types in order for content to even be run in the first place. A problem that every developer has to try and find a way to fix so that people who play the only fun jobs in the game don't have to wait around for 45 minutes to get into a piece of required content in order to progress the juicy story which is the only thing that people care about. Final Fantasy XIV healing has been through a lot over the years, going from the good old days of overhealing causing you to generate a fuckload of aggro and get beat to death, to the days of pressing cleric stance. What we have had since the introduction of Shadowbringers especially, is a massive overhaul of the healing system in order to lower the barrier of entry, to the point where any tadpole left out in the open to asphyxiate can maybe pick it up. What we are left with is about a billion changes and enough healers playing the game to finally make waiting around not take half an eternity. With so many changes to healing though, it now feels like fucking garbage. When you first pick up a healer in this game, it can be quite overwhelming. As you look at your entire party's health bars and feel like the world is going to shatter at any given moment, simply get good, scrub. You will eventually realize the ultimate truth. There is not a whole lot of outcoming damage at every second in this game. To the point where if you are new, you are probably way more focused than necessary. Even though I'm evil, I don't hate people who are new to healing for struggling at first because everybody does. Everyone who tries to be decent at this game has gone through a learning curve no matter how talented or perfect they may present themselves. The downside is that being awful at healing sometimes has consequences in brain dead content compared to being a DPS who might as well not exist in terms of being able to get from point A to point B. This is why healing has such a low focus on DPS buttons so that you don't have to maintain some complex DPS rotation on top of keeping the party topped up. Except, not really. The thing that is stupid to me is that there is a leveling system in this game. Healing at first should be easy to pick up, but you would expect it to get a little more complex as you level. Instead, what you have is one filler button and one dot to maintain on every healer, and that is it. You get to keep that from level 16 to level 90. The exact same filler rotation for your entire existence without anything new or stimulating being added except for a fancy new healing button that will solve the exact same problem that you can already solve. The closest thing that we have to any variance on this right now is energy drain optimizations on Scholar and Phlegma Balls which is just a button that you have to manage slightly more, and despite Sage being a side grade scholar, it somehow feels like it gives it more depth, while also making it painfully obvious how ludicrously shallow healing has become. As I've said earlier, healers have changed a lot over the years. Despite this, the thing that hasn't changed very much at all is fight design. Encounters do not output damage at insanely high volumes unless you're running Savage at minimum item level or ultimate content in general. And even then, it doesn't matter that incoming damage can be fairly high when it is very calculated and consistent with each encounter. Learning fights while healing can be kind of cool, but you will eventually boil it down to where you plan to place your cooldowns and go back to mashing one button. Simply begging for something to go wrong so that you have something new and interesting to do instead of going through the exact same repetitive motion. And I know exactly what you're going to say next, which is, hang on. Isn't that what DPS players do? The answer is yes, but your non-stop filler rotation on DPS and even tanks is infinitely more interesting than what you get to do on healer. Even Warrior's core GCDs which get made fun of are way more complex than pressing one singular button. What's so stupid about this is that Final Fantasy XIV fight design has been this way forever. 
It was born and raised in a system in which healers had like three more DPS buttons. And the idea of contributing to DPS checks as a core part of playing healer is baked into the system. It is baffling that there is such an outright refusal to embrace the way the game is fucking designed and working. People are usually okay with fight mechanics and how they can resolve them. It is insane to me that the proposed solution to the problem of making healers kits 99% healing is changing the encounters, not only because if it's not broken don't fix it, but also because you can't change any of the old fights. You know, the old ultimates that people still like to go and clear. So even if you manage to overhaul the entire fight design system in this game to make it so that random healing is required or make healing output much more important, you still invalidate all of the content that came out before. Which is just like, hmm, what is going to be easier? Making the DPS rotations to healers ever so slightly more interesting at close to maximum level? Or completely changing an entire part of the way that your design team makes fights and encounters? You know what will be surprising though? I don't even want to remove the one DPS button playstyle. Let one healer have this stupid ass rotation, probably white mage. That way people don't lose their unga bunga role. Embrace some uniqueness where this game allows you to. Unique healing buttons do not work super well. That's why everything is about unique ways to deal damage in this game. Part of what makes Sage so incredibly frustrating isn't that it's bad to play, but that it's literally a functional equivalent scholar with some very, very minor differences. Cardia is just Fey Blessing, but instead of a stupid fairy just casting it for fun, it's something that you target and proc by pressing your DPS buttons. They did not create a healer that heals by doing damage, they created a scholar that heals by proxy on every broil cast instead of having a pet. I don't hate Sage, but I hate what it represents. An unwillingness to push healers in a direction that they have been in the past. You removed what I would consider to be the most frustrating things to manage on this role, which was old aggro, old protect, and good old cleric stance. We don't need to go all the way back to old Heaven's War DPS check bullshit fuckface max DPS scholar or perish shit. I just don't want every single healer to feel exactly the same at the core. Because it turns out this game is designed with the healers DPSing about 90% of the time at a minimum. And the jobs are not designed with this core principle in mind. I sure love mashing a single button for 9 tenths of my playtime. Which is also why I never want to have auto combo forced down my throat if they ever decided to implement it because I will be bored to fucking tears if I am just sitting there pressing a single button for the majority of my gameplay. That's the real reason of why I don't like XIV combo but if you make it optional, fine. On top of Sage existing, we also had to sacrifice Nocturnal Sect Astro for it, a job that has a playstyle around being able to utilize off-GCD shielding and felt distinct from Scholar. It wasn't optimal, but man, it was viable, and it was also fun for everybody who enjoyed playing it. It is removed, all in the name of having two regen and two shield healers in the metagame, so that you can have one of each in a high-end duty finder specifically. Wow. Because what? Having three shield healers and two regen healers would throw the game out of balance? Tell me this, what do you plan to do when you want to add a new healer into the game? Are you going to add in two healers at the same time to keep this perfect ratio, or are you going to release one type and accept the imbalance? Meaning that Nocturnal Sect was removed for absolutely no fucking reason. Just ask yourself the question of what are they going to do when they add in one more healer, and you can already see the problem. Talk about an insane lack of foresight for a game that is claiming to be making expansions for the next 10 years. If you really wanted to make this high-end duty finder shit work of requiring one shield and one regen healer, you could allow Astro players to pick which sect they prefer before going to queue and move on. It is not that fucking hard. Imagine putting a little bit more work in to make your player base happy, even though double shield and double regen were and are still viable. Fuck it, sometimes even meta. I joked about Nocturnal Sect being removed, but man... I really can't see a good reason why, other than making the job of the development team easier, with the consequence of sacrificing a small amount of uniqueness that the game still provided.
The only other thing I will mention about this is that healing is a balance of outputting adequate healing and keeping up damage. This game is notorious for turbo casuals who only heal and don't DPS after playing the game for 5000 hours. That is very different than overhealing a fuckload when you're new to healing. But this game is also notorious for high-end healers that drop their whole party who fucked up a mechanic when they could have just lived through it with an extra heal. Even if you want to be an absolute fucking Machiavellian monster about it, it is going to take you less time to get a re-clear with one shitty pull than two pulls where one was shittier than the other. People already tunnel vision super hard when they shouldn't, and that's not a result of healers having a complicated rotation, but a result of basic incompetency. Giving a little more to manage is not going to make them any fucking worse when they can already be close to rock bottom. We've managed to go full circle though, where healer play rate was originally low because it was too hard, and now the play rate is super low because it is so fucking boring. Would there be people who would be sad about losing their current playstyle that they like? Yeah, but it didn't seem to be a problem when fucking over healing players in the past. Yeehaw. Anyways, I think that's enough ranting on this topic for now. I will finish by saying this. Give Scholar players two dots, make one of them a hard cast, and give them Tri Disaster and make Aetherflow reset the cooldown of said Tri Disaster. Let White Maid stay exactly the same so that we can meme on it for being the baby healer, bring back Nocturnal Astro, bring back AoE dots, and make Sage have some whack ass overcomplicated DPS rotation that baffles people's minds and see if they embrace it or not. Because with how safe that job was on release, it was stale before I even started playing it. If some if someone complains that they need to be rewarded with more DPS for their complicated job, simply tell them that the reward is being able to have fun and not being bored out of their fucking mind. Shut the fuck up about a whole 2% DPS variance. Now let's get out there and go back to mashing one button with drool rolling down our face.